You are what you eat. I guess that means I need to eat a skinny person. Does anybody else out there have issues with like being really, really awesome until about 10, 15 at night? Because that is the time that I blow my entire diet all the time, every time. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. If you are new to my channel, this is my husband, Mauricio. And this is my daughter, Melina, who's six. We are currently working our way out of 250,000 worth of debt. We post videos about finance. I am also on a perpetual weight loss journey. And so I frequently post about food and cooking and diet. And I also post about being a mom. So if that interests you, please click that red subscribe button down below and then go click that bell notification icon. So you will know whenever I upload, we have fun on this channel. Just ask anyone in the comment section, they'll tell you. So I was invited by my YouTube BFF, Kelly, love you. Congratulations on your wedding. I know I've talked to you like pretty much every day, including most of your honeymoon, which was probably wrong. Kelly is debt-free, newlywed, and on a weight loss journey. And she is absolutely having the time of her life. I just, I love watching Kelly's videos. They're always happy and uplifting. And she's just a great, great person. And of course, I will post her, the link to her channel and all the other participants in this collab down below. So today I'm going to give you my tips for weight loss. Now, let me give you a, like a 30 second history about my my weight journey. I was just your average kid. I always felt like I was a little bit overweight, but I, I probably was not. As an adult, I slowly began to gain weight because when I was a kid, I was super athletic, but I would eat a lot, a lot, a lot. As I got older and I was a little more sedentary and I got a uh, job where I moved a lot less, I started to gain weight. At the highest point, I was a lot. Then I lost about 75 pounds and I've kind of plateaued. I'm about 30 pounds ish above where I would like to be. So I am on a constant struggle to continue losing the rest of my weight. And so I can give you some great tips. I'm not always fantastic about following them, but I've got some excellent tips for actually losing weight. Number one, this one's a big one and it's gonna cause a riff. I'll say it flat out. You are not going to lose weight by working out. The amount of working out you have to do just to lose weight is ridiculous. I have exercised pretty much my whole life and the only time I have ever seen anything remotely close to like a dent in my weight just as a result of exercise was when I was running five or six miles every single day. And if I ran five to six or more, then I might lose a half a pound a week. In order to lose weight, you need to realize you have to meticulously control what goes in your mouth. And that brings us to number two. You need to realize that every single bite that you put in your mouth matters. Much like that latte that you buy every day affects your finances, every single calorie that you eat affects how much weight you're going to lose. Every single thing that goes in your mouth matters. Did I make that clear? Number three, this is my go-to and it without fail helps me every single time. I try and keep my lunch and my breakfast as low point as possible. My go-to breakfast is a light English muffin with one egg white, fat-free cheese, and sometimes a piece of Canadian bacon, sometimes a piece of bacon, and sometimes neither of those. And that is my go-to low point breakfast. My go-to lunch is home smoked salmon with dill, capers, onions, and instead of using sour cream or cream like a lot of people use, I use plain yogurt. Really well strained plain yogurt that's super thick. It's almost the consistency of cream cheese. It is fantastically spreadable. 
and and I only use about a tablespoon of it. And I eat that on these awesome crackers. They're called Wasa. And this lunch is so filling and so fantastic. And what I do is I keep smoked salmon in the freezer. And when I say smoked salmon, I mean smoked at home because smoked salmon is really expensive. So I get a side of salmon and I have it when we're out smoking on the grill, we put it in the grill and smoke it. And I keep it in the freezer and I thaw it for lunch. And I can eat that. Another go-to lunch, like I love the Weight Watchers Zero Point Soup, the vegetable soup. It's amazing. And it's zero points. Now, I will tell you that there are certain meals like I have to, with the vegetable soup, I have to have a little bit of protein and a little bit of carbohydrates. Because if I don't, I will get hungry very quickly. So what I generally do is I go to the Wasa crackers and I use them and I put, I get myself one or two crackers and I put, you know, a piece of chicken on them and maybe some fat free cheese and eat that with my soup. I also do vegetable spring rolls with tofu and I have a recipe for those and I'll link that up in the eye in the sky up here. And I generally try and keep all of my breakfasts and lunches extremely low points because that allows me to be a little bit more indulgent with my dinner and make things that Mauricio and my parents and Melina like. And if we have fried chicken for dinner, I can have a fried chicken breast and I don't have to worry about blowing my points because I have eaten virtually no points all day long. Tip number four, I replaced my milk with almond milk. Now, I don't do this because I have a problem with dairy. I actually love milk and I would happily drink it if I could, but milk is very, very high points. And I have discovered that if I use unsweetened almond milk in place of milk, especially in my coffee, um, I can get my points much lower and I don't have to worry about the calorie intake or the fat intake or anything like that. Tip number five. I will freely admit that I like wine. I will drink a glass of wine with dinner and be perfectly happy with my life. I, you know, I try not to do it every day, but if I have, you know, several glasses of wine during the week, so be it. But I also find that when I drink wine, I eat. And it starts as soon as I have finished my first glass of wine. I don't know if it's the lowering of my resistance or my inhibitions. I don't know. I'm certainly not drunk. I'm certainly not even remotely intoxicated after one glass of wine, but I do start doing this constantly after having a glass of wine. And not only that, wine itself has calories, so, and it's points. Tip number six, stop eating after 8 p.m. Now this one is big for me because I am a nighttime eater. I will eat perfectly breakfast and lunch and come about three o'clock, I start getting peckish and I wanna eat a little bit. But by eight, nine o'clock at night, I will put anything in my mouth that will go in there to eat. That is not a joke. I probably would stand at the refrigerator and gnaw on a stick of butter if I could. Okay, that's kind of gross, but you know, you get the point. But if I put a regulation that I am not going to eat after eight o'clock at night, I, the weight just melts off of me because my body is so used to me doing that, that when I stop doing that, it just works. Final tip number seven, diabet is something very new to me that Kelly introduced me to. Now I will tell you, I won the first diet bet like a champ. It really helped me to tie my finances to my dieting, really helped. But I will tell you when I reinvested in myself, I didn't actually have to invest my actual cash because I had it in the account already. So it didn't feel like I was spending the money because it didn't come out of my budget. So that did not work for me. But putting it into the budget and knowing that I was going to have to be accountable for, for that money really, really helped me stay on my diet. Whenever I feel sad, I just go to my happy place, the refrigerator. Dear diet, things just aren't working out between us. It's not you, it's me. You're boring, you're tasteless, and I just can't stop cheating on you. And today is a three party day. Who knew that having a six year old 
would like amp up my social life to the point that I'm never at home. It's funny how they say exercise helps you live longer because really it makes me feel like I'm dying. I feel like I need to have like a plate of food right here and be like shoveling it into my mouth while I'm filming. I don't mean to brag, but I just finished a whole 30 in 27 minutes. I'm on that new diet, you know, the one where you eat everything you want and then hope for a miracle. My body said I needed to do crunches, but my brain auto-corrected that to I needed to eat cupcakes. I'm just a girl standing in front of a salad, asking it to be tacos. I don't know what I'm doing today. I'm, it, it's, it's a Saturday and I'm tired. I've been up since four. I got up at four this morning to edit and I'm freaking exhausted. But I love you all. You're so awesome. I wish I could have a big party and have all of you over. That'd be fun. So make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. And this video up here is my latest one and this one down here is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya!